today we'll be discuss about the roundworms or the nematodes there are 28000 species of nematodes are identified in the world among these 16000 species are they are parasite uh, meaning that the parasite species of the nematodes are they are greater than the free living uh, species in terms of their body symmetry uh, most of the nematodes they are bilaterally symmetrical uh, meaning that whenever they are uh, undergo symmetry they have mirror image and uh, in terms of their uh, body uh, plan they are uh, uh, symmetrical as well as they are triploblastic which means triploblastic animals are those animals which have germ layer three germ layer the endoderm ectoderm and mesoderm so that in terms of advancement they are more advanced as the previous phyla in terms of their body size they are cylindrical in shape the exhibit tissue level of organization their body has a cavity or a pseudo a pseudosol or pseudocellum and the other thing the nematoda or the roundworms they have Alimentary canal system. They have the mouth and the anus. They have two openings. Unlike the flatworms, these are very advanced. In terms of their advancement, the alimentary canal is more advanced in the nematodes or in the roundworms because they have separate mouth and the anus. They have separate mouth and anus. Um, and now, uh, nematoda. Or the species they are parasite uh, In terms of their, uh, in terms of symmetry, bilateral symmetry nacho. Like previously, in the nacho, in the radial touch, radial symmetry bilateral symmetry they are advanced nacho. They are advanced nacho. Uh, in terms of their uh, digestive system, flat or much milieu, the alimentary canal, it is uh, uh, distinct, which means they have separate mouth and anus. They have separate mouth and anus. The flat or digestive system, I show in the no, and single opening now, a hand, the mouth and anus, and the nagle gilaitanal. Just in case of this, uh, it is quite different from the alimentary canal system of the flatworms because they are more advanced in terms of their uh, uh, digestive system or in the alimentary canal. The other thing, they are sexually dimorphic, meaning that sexually dimorphic meaning that they have separate they have uh, sepa they have separate sexes, males and females. They are uh, uh, separate. They are separate. They are separate. So that they are known as the dimorphic. They have they have dimorphic, and the other thing they they have devoid of circulatory system and respiratory system, uh, meaning that they do not have efficient circulatory system and respiratory system. They do not have efficient circulatory system and respiratory system. So that in terms of system, they are uh, less advanced. They are free living or parasitic. Roundworms or the uh, nematodes, they are either free living or parasiting. And uh, now, and then those free living lo nuchilalu, and then those demo parasite lo nuchilalu. Maybe parasitic based on the amount of nuchilalu, and then those demo minimum minute based on my amount of the free living. Yeminor, yeminoru, ye roundworm, ye nematodu chalu malat. No, nazi betele, they are very important for ecological stability of the environment. The ecological stability, yeah, the legalalo. Now, the demo parasite cause demo they are very important for medical. They are the cause of the disease and uh, they are uh, parasitic. The other thing is the parasitic nematodes. They are the cause of what disease in the host. They are the cause of disease in the host. The other thing, fertilization is internal and reproduction is sexual because why we said they are sexual because uh, sexual there is sexual dimorphism. Male and females are female are live in separate and female uh, it produce the uh, the egg and the male produces sperm cell and inside the uterus of the nematode or the roundworm 
fertilization is takes place. And they undergo uh, uh, cuticle molting, which means like the arthropods, they undergo periodically molting. They undergo uh, periodically molting. The other thing is their epidermis is synchial and contain dorsal or ventral nerve cords. They have dorsal or uh, ventral nerve cords. In terms of their uh, sperm, they possess amoeboid sperm cells because this amoeboid meaning that the sperm cannot have what a flagella. It is uh, uh, it is amoeboid. Mind no sperm cellu flagella yello. But in the case amoeboid, we learn all matters. No, uh, the other thing is we can uh, you can uh, see this is the shape of the uh, nematodes. Uh, you can uh, hear it is a structure. This is nematodes or roundworms. Uh, uh, the other, you can see this one is a mouse, and there is the anus, and there is a reproductive pore, there is a cuticle, there is an ovary. Uh, this is the site of egg production, and uh, this is the anus and the mouse. It is distinctive. Uh, it's not uh, like the previous worms, like the flatworm. Uh, uh, the mouse is not serve as the anus, and the anus is not serve as the mouse. So mouse and anus they have different function. Uh, they have different function, unlike the flatworms. Uh, uh, you know that this is you can see the nematode body plan. Uh, it is the uh, plan of the uh, nematode body plan. <coughs> The other thing is the digestive system of nematodes. The digestive tract of nematode is complete with mouth, pharynx, stomach, intestine, and anus. It has complete digestive system so that uh, the, these digestive uh, uh, structures are present. The digestive system of nematode is made up of three main parts. The digestive system of nematode is, is made up of three uh, parts. The first one is the stomodium. There is the intestine and the uh, proctodium. The intestine is the site of digestion and absorption. You know that intestine is the site of digestion and absorption. When it comes about the stomodium, stomodium is the beginning of the digestive tract. In the digestive system of the nematode or the roundworm, the first digestive tract is known as stomodium. This stomodium is it's considered as the beginning or the first parts of the digestive system of nematodes. This one is the first uh, parts of what the digestive system of nematodes. You can see here, the other is a proctodium. This, the proctodium is located at the end of the world in which waste is split after the food is processed and moves through the digestive tract. By this point, nutrients and other have been absorbed from the food in the area of the digestive system. And the other thing is the intestine. It is found between the two openings and the in the intestine enzymes are produced that is aid or used to facilitation of digestion and help absorption of nutrients. You know that uh, enzymes are biological catalysts, they speed up the nature of the chemical reaction, as well as enzymes are very essential for digestion. In the nematode, in the digestive tract of the intestine, <clears throat> the enzymes are, uh, they are very uh, essential to undergo uh, uh, digestion or food breakdowns. And that is very essential for uh, the food that become as nutrients or absorbed. As a result, the intestine is very essential for absorption of the food. So you can say that, you know that the digestive tract of the, uh, the nematodes, the, it has three parts in terms of the digestive uh, tract. The first one is the stomodium. This is the beginning of the digestive tract in which the food is entered as the primary way. And the second one is the proctodium. Proctodium is located as the end of the worm. And the other thing is the intestine. It's found in between the two openings. In the two openings, enzymes are produced here and they are very essential for food digestion. The other is excretory system. In nematodes, specialized excretory cells are not well developed. So what will come is uh, the uh, excretion is takes, by, takes place by simple diffusion. By diffusion, um, and no. Specialized extractor system, the excretory system, 
በዲፊውዥን በ በቦዲ አቻው ማካይነት ይካሄዳል ማለት ነው ወይም ደግሞ ዘር ኢዝ ዋት ቦዲ ካቪቲ ኦር ሲዶሰለም ዘ ፕሬዘንስ ኦፍ ሲዶሰለም ዛት ኢዝ ቬሪ ኢሴንሻል ፎር ዘም ፎር አንደርጎ ኤክስክራቶሪ ሲስተም ኢኖ ዛት ሲዶሰለም ኢዝ ኤሴለም ዊት ኢዝ ፓርሻሊ ፍሉድ ፊልድ ኢኖ ዛት ትሩ ሲሌም ኢዝ ትሩ ሲሌም ኢዝ ቬሪ ኢሴንሻል ፎር ዋንቲንግ ኢት ኢዝ ሳይት ኦፍ ጎናር ማቹሬሽን ኤንድ ጋሜት ማቹሬሽን ኦር ዩ ካን ሴይ ዛት it is easier to increase the size of that organism if the presence of selen a free movement of visceral organs if there is true selen visceral organs are undergo free movement so the presence of this pseudoselen it is very essential for the removal of nitrogenous waste from the body the other thing is the regulation of the uh, water the regulation of water and salt is takes place by by renty glands you can see this is the renty gland these renty glands are present under the pharynx in the marine nematodes so the regulation of water and salt content of the body is achieved by renty glands selezi nezi renty glands le mentalacho renty they are present in the uh, 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 ventral glands that absorb waste from the pseudosol sidos sol and they are split out nezi rent seb lemin taracho ventral gland siracho siracho mindinno waste na absorb maregna ka sewnet ust mas wotat no they are very essential for removal of waste from the body of the nematodes or the roundworms the other thing is the uh, nitrogenous waste may be uh, in the case of the uh, nematodes Uh, you can see this one the free living nematodes have rentis the free living nematodes have rentis which is a ventral gland that absorb waste from the uh, from the pseudocelum and empties them outside which means mindinno kasawnet ya sotallu malet no nezi whereas you know that the nematodes or the roundworms they one thing they are free living the others are parasitic depending on the species the free living nematodes they have rentis but the parasitic nematodes they have tubular system which is used for as excretory pore the tubular system acts as excretory pore but in the free living nematodes they have rentis which is used for the absorption of wastes which is used for the absorption of wastes mindinno free living nematodes rentis allacho nezi rentis bilen mintaracho seloch Uh, they produce they use for the absorption of wastes or nitrogenous uh, wastes from the body of nematodes uh, this one is the parasitic one they have the parasitic one they have the tubular system they have tubular system this is used for what the uh, this tubular system act as what it call is the excretory pore it is excretory pore this one excretory pore The other is the nervous system and sense organ. They have simple nervous system, anterior nerve ring with nerve extended from it. The principal sense organ in nematodes are the amphibes, the phasmids, papillae, and ocelli. You see, these these sense organs they have different function. In case of amphibes, amphibes, and the phasmids. they are known as chemo receptors they dictate the chemical substances you know that there is chemo receptor there is mechano receptor there is photo receptor there are different types of receptor in an organism in case of nematodes or roundworms the amphibes and the phasmids they used for as a chemo receptor they dictate the chemical substances from the environment so the the amphibes and the phasmids they are different in terms of their location this one is located in the anterior part and the phasmids are they are present in the posterior part this one is a posterior and this one is uh, in the anterior portion so that amphibes amphibes and the phasmids they are chemo receptors whereas the papillae and ocelli this one and this one in the case of the uh, roundworms or the nematodes 
the papillae is increase the area of the tongue. It increases the area of the tongue. And to increase the area for, you know, that papillae, Bzugze, Nagalaglom, and no, ye, tangla yallon area. When ye majimarola yallon, maybe it may not be tongue, or it may be tongue like structure, which is used for the uh, anchoring or attachment of the food. And we can say that it is increase the surface area of the tongue and to increase the area of contact and and which is uh, between the tongue and the food. The tongue na the food makakel yalon nagar la contact yagal gilal maltno. The other thing, this one, the oscilli. Oscilli are very essential for detecting of light, or they are known as the photoreceptors. They are they are very essential for uh, sense of sight or sense of detecting light. So this is the amphidis, the phasmidis, the papillae, and the oscillae, they are principal sense organs in nematodes, and the amphibis and the phasmidis, they are, they are chemoreceptor function, whereas the papillae and the oscillae, papillae, it is in the food, in the mouth, uh, which is for the uh, between the food and the uh, the mouse that is used for uh, uh, that increase the friction because of for digestion, whereas this one is for uh, uh, photoreceptors for sense of sight. The other thing is reproductive re reproduction system. Nematodes are reproduced sexually because uh, they have they are male and female, or they are they are not monophase or they are diophase, meaning they uh, in most nematodes the sex are separated with sexual dimorphism. Males smaller than females. Because males are smaller than females, what is the reason? Females, they, they store a number of eggs. For that matter, the size of the females are greater than males. Uh, this is an, it is a biological difference. More males have terminal cloaca and copulatory speculus. In terms of uh, cloaca, this one, the uh, it's not a uh, uh, separate hole. It does not have separate hole because uh, it is one hole that is used for the excretion and replication of the sperm cell. But in case of female, it has separate, uh, uh, separate hole. Gonads are single or double, it may be. Fertilization is internal. It's through copulation uh, because of their mating. Fertilization can be developed in the nematode or outside the nematoda. Nematoda sperm is particular that lack flagellate because, uh, as I told you before, they are amoeboid uh, sperm, meaning that no flagellum, no flagellum. The other thing, females are reproduced structure pair, uh, uh, reproductive that is uh, paired, and males have single tastes. Uh, the other uh, single taste, some lay egg. If they are lay egg, they are known as oviparous. Others hatch egg internally and give birth to larva. They are known as ovoviparous. In case of viviparous, in mammals, and this one is oviparous if they lay egg and if they uh, hatch eggs internally and give birth to larva. If the larva is lay, is known as ovoviparous. You have to be identified or you have to be differentiate the difference between oviparous and ovoviparous. In case of this one, the larva is uh, uh, give an adult outside the female. This one is the oviparous, which is uh, the fertilized egg. So that the difference is visible. Larva resemble mm, in adult in some case. Nematodes have a typical parasitic adaptation. You know that if an organism or in a worm, in order to become parasitic, one thing, uh, they are highly reproductive capability or they have high reproduction system, ability to find host, resistance to host is inside. In order to become the parasite, an organism should wanting high rate of reproduction must be present. The other thing is they reproduce, they produce special structures like the flatworm. In case of flatworm, hooks and suckers are present, which is for adhesive purpose or sucking of the blood. Uh, so the nematodes uh, like uh, this one, they highly reproductivity, highly find the host resistance to host enzyme because the host enzyme, if, if the parasite do not develop resistance to the enzymes, the host enzymes can be easily removed the parasite. So the life cycle is not complicated. In case of flatworm, the life cycle is complicated. It requires two hosts. 
or may uh, one host or it may be two host or depend on the types of the species but in here the life cycle is not complicated it requires single host it requires single host uh, the types of the um, nematoda or roundworms ascaris lumbercoid the common name of ascaris this one is a scientific name ascaris lumbercoid is it is scientific name common name it is human intestine around worm it is the most common worms in human it is in it is southeastern usa and is infected about over 1 billion people in the world see which is studies which is reveal that and 20% uh, of the world population is approximately it was infected by the ascaris lumbercoid females can grow up to 30 cm long females produce up to 20,000 ingus a day. Adults live in the small intestine and ingus leave the host body in the faces. The Ascaris lumbercoid transmitted by eating uncooked vegetables. Ascaris lumbercoid uncooked vegetables. Or children's put finger. Absolutes are not. Catasada duala, Yachon site at the war else demo. After line minimum Seneca Kulo. Uh, if they uh, take their mouths, maybe uh, they are contaminated. Uh, this is uh, the worm eggs are extremely resistant to harsh condition uh, because the egg that is uh, resists the environment and they can survive in soil for months and sometimes in a, even a year. So it's not buffer life in a kaku, igunka gamutuna, biachons at a wafachum in a kona, katayas karisum, igios with almanatno. When eggs are consumed, they hatch in the host's intestine and penetrate the intestine all of which the host's bloodstream. Slazi, igun consume kadar of wala, wode hatch it der regna, wode bloodstream, ihe dalmanatno. So the juvenile get into the host's lung. Juvenile or the lung head. You see how, how much it is very dangerous, not only the intestine, but also uh, ascaris lumbercoid, it is infects the lung. So due to this reason, it is the cause of what? Pneumonia. It is the cause of pneumonia. Juvenile worms are covered and swallowed into the digestive tract, intestine where they become sexually mature. And no he lung life on the intestine which has a hon, lung dressy metal mano. Lung ni azomanas demo le pneumonia, we m li la samba mich le sal, lemon lin gallet mich la malat no. The other thing, large number of numbers of adult cause intestinal blockage and sir abdominal pain. There's an abdominal pain in orich la malat no because the ascaris member is uh, maybe in the fecal. In the faces, it is uh, out from the patient, and you can diagnose this by taking the faces sample or stool examination, as far as lumbar quid, the diagnosis men narago laboratory kali, sagaro lay, the mantas, irasion sediment argan, irasion gallo, beziam macinat, unkulalu belay, insafa fal, kaziabohala, or the laboratory residents in now. Uh, golden brown na shell di hone unkulala no askar slumber ko golden brown kaga demo shell no but am shell di hone ka wana that's called ya so bemya tsan the askar slumber ko te zwa blen lena nager inchilala matno so what is the askar slumber ko life cycle you can see that uh, the askar slumber ko the first thing infected ingus are swallowed ye tabakkal unkulala no talen Egg hatch small intestine and hatch journal. Kaziabhala larva migrate to the hepatic portal through the intestine and well, with the hepatic portal system. Then the larva interlang, with the lung, 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 it is a cause of what? Pneumonic renal. And alveolar space causing alveolar nun infected aragua larva maladano. Kaziabhala larva coughs up. The larva are so allowed, you know. Larva are small intestine for a second time. No, let's take the larva, small intestine leaders and now mature and what a mature honal because they allow the adult worms lay igaragal because they allow eggs are released in the faces. Does it make any at a scars lumber coil life cycle? Can I want a mallet? No, this is a scars lumber coil in the laboratory. Hey, a scars lumber coil no doubt. This is a scars lumber coil. So, larva stay low. Uh, so, intestine and attack, lung and attack, lemon, my other lava The other thing is hookormus. Hookormus get their name from their anterior end with curved like a hook. Lix muni again, you know, anterior portion like curved, you know, hookorn tabala. 
They borrow their cook mouth into the intestines of human and suck blood, like it is suck blood, it is a blood, uh, and can cause anemia because this is a blood parasite. If, 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 if there is blood shortage or if there is the uh, cause of the blood, uh, it results for anemic disease. And delay mental and physical growth in children and cause of loss of energy even. The life cycle and the transmission is uh, similar to ascaric worms, intestinal round worms. Life cycle which is similar with that. No, no difference. This is the hook worm. You see, this is the hook worm. This is the hook worm. Hook worms. The other worm is the filarial worm. About 250 million people infected worldwide, mostly in tropical countries. This is filaria worm that cause obstruction and inflammation of the lymphatic system. Basically, filaria worm lymphatic system in Yemigodan. Mosquitoes can carry the disease and extreme manifestation can cause. There are different types of uh, mosquito. There are different types of mosquito. So these different types of mosquito, they are, the, they are vector actually. Mosquito, they are a vector, they are vectors, they are vectors. One thing, maybe the Clux mosquito is present, maybe the Anopheles mosquito, the Aedes mosquito, there are different types of uh, mosquito actually. So mosquito can carry the disease and extreme manifestation and cause elephantiasis, that's cause elephantiasis. Elephantiasis is a condition caused by swelling of certain parts of the body, such as the leg, arm, and the genitals. Uh, basically, three kinds of roundworms cause elephantiasis, elephantiasis filariasis. The first one is the Wichria bancrofti. This is the Wichria bancrofti and the Burgia malae and the Burgia taimori. So that the taimori and the malaria and the malaria and the uh, Wichria bancrofti, they are basically common cause of elephantiasis filariasis. Among these, which real bankrupt is common. Can you call it elephantiasis filariasis? Which real bankrupt is commonly genial. Uh, he examination with the regulation. Let me say, as far as lumber quid, the mental watch, no, 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 Pazawala Mendeno, Igun Nomen Felic, Igu Golden Brown, Ig Shell Kahana, Ascaris Nobel, suspect in Aragala Marathon. A Zig Degmo, microscopic examination of the person is taken sample Mendeno, blood sample Nosralan. If Larias Nosro Mendeno, Belerno, Ye ne Ascaris Gin Sagarana Nustana. So that microscopic examination of the person blood may reveal microfilaria of the worm. Minfelgomanu, microfilaria on Minfelgo, because the microfilaria is infect the person. Collecting the blood from the individual for microscopic examination should be done during the night when the microfilaria are more numerous in the bloodstream. So let's see, microfilaria on Mintaminlo, ye Minsavastavo, during the night time as recommended the regal. The other thing is this most common form of filaria worm and killed by mosquito. There are different types of mosquito, as I told you before. Here is the uh, types of, you know, that's, that's the lymphatic disease. The lymphatic disease, how much this will up the leg because it blocks about the lymph nodes. It blocks the lymph nodes here. And also you can uh, imagine this one is elephantiasis and which is block the, uh, 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 the leg. And the other thing is Uchria, that is the Oncocerca volvulus. Oncocerca volvulus is known as river blindness. It's caused by the parasitic worm. Ehe, Uchria volvulus is balal. Ehe, demo, Oncocerciasis mi balal demo, beshtauno. This one is a species which is the cause of the Oncocerciasis disease. More than 99% of the infected people live in, uh, in Africa. And another filaria worm, Oncocerca volvulus, cause river blindness or Oncocerciasis is found, which is killed by black fly. This one is a vector, which is transmitted the uh, parasite or the worm from the infected towards the healthier one. The prevention means that is remove the black fly or by using insecticides or the, uh, or you can insect replants. 
ይሄ ምንድነው ኦንኮሴር ካቨር ብለስ ብለን እንጠራው ኦንኮሴር ኪያሲስ የሚባለው በሽት ያመጣል ይሄ ደግሞ ሪቨርስ ብላይንድነስ ያመጣል አይነ ስውርነት የሚያመጣ ነው ይሄን የሚያስተላልፈው ብላክ ፍላይ ተባላለች እቺ ብላክ ፍላይ ቬክተር ነች ከበሽተኛው ላይ ይዛ ወደ ጤነኛው ላይ የምትወስናት ዩ ሲ this is the victims of the filarial worm of the oncocerca volvulus the oncocerca volvulus ehe le blindness yetedarrega no malatno so maybe sample betelayye beskill igeny chilal yezi bind lay normal nor yichilal yetelayyu botawash lay prefer yaregal more of uh, in the eye uh, it is uh, uh, present this is which is a brazilian brazil uh, micro uh, uh, which is uh, infected by this species classification of the nematoda actually uh, nematoda um, has basic classes the first one is a uh, uh, fast media they have the body with pair of minute sensory or uh, they have fast midis and similar pair of sensory organ as the anterior end and they have excretory system with one or two lateral canals and the inguinal both the free living and the parasite for example of the class uh, fast media ascaris rabiditis and introvis they are an example of the fast medis and the other thing is the class the amphisi media the amphisi media they have no fast medis in, in instead of that they have amphidis they have excretory system one or more renty cells this one very reason for regulation Uh, they have caudal and hypoderma glands are common they are mostly free living but include some parasitic example the uh, trichuris trichinella and is the deco the deck tophimi these are an example importance of the nematoda more of nematoda they are parasitic to human and domestic animals they are medically they are useful they play a very vital role in nutrient cycling and release of nutrient for plant growth they use it for even they can be used for environmental uh, uh, ecological system they sustain the environment by decomposed dead organisms organisms and also they are used for attack other insects and help to control insect pests Others are important in agricultural roles. The others are why they are used for biological control because they are very essential for killing or capturing of the insect and they are known as biological control agents because the life that it is the life that's called biological control mechanism. This is all about the uh, nematoda. Thank you.